also be um, a dangerous thing because they tend to resemble the people that founded them. You'll notice that different uh, programming communities, have, even in different locations, have different vibes, and maybe some of them are more inclusive or less inclusive. And not just inclusive when we're talking about race and gender, but also like level of knowledge. Uh, there are some com- programming language communities, and I'm not going to name any names, mm. but you know, if you're anything less than a staff engineer, you're you're not worth anyone's time. Um, that is something that can be very challenging. I don't think that there's anything particularly special about the open source community because it contains multitudes. And each of these communities inside the open source space has its own vibe. Some of those vibes are better than others. But I think the nice thing is when in open source, you'll find that most of the times people have the power to determine the shape of the community themselves. It's not sponsored. It's not commercially being wrangled. Um, it, it's it's not being herded or controlled by commercial interests. You know, there there are you know when you use a product and they they want to keep the community growing the way they see fit. You're you're going to go to their conferences. You're going to enjoy their training sessions. You're not going to have like the flourishing of different communities, like learning communities, different teaching materials, different Slack channels. You're going to find your own people a lot faster uh, in open source than you will in closed source spaces. <laughs>